there are supposed to be some signs following you. Look at your neighbor says something is supposed to happen. Now, if it's not happening, then you need to go back to where you started from. Because something should be happening every time you wave your hand. Something should be happening every time you open your mouth. Something should be happening every time you pray a prayer. Something should be happening every time you give God worship. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Will you turn to somebody and tell them something is about to happen? Look over there in the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John. We're on our way back to, to, to Luke to Acts 17. But in the Gospel of John, you remember the woman at the well. Glory to God. This woman at the well, many of us, glory to God, we would call her uh, the lady of the night. Uh, many of us would call her, glory to God, one who is given to social hospitality. Many of us would say that she know how to engage and she know how to entertain, especially men. When you look at somebody and say, nothing is wrong with your game. If you know how to work your game. Now tell them, don't play. Glory to God, if you got it, you just got it. And if you don't, then go learn from somebody that can teach. I'm glad that God tonight, uh, 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 Apostle uh, Divorce, I'm glad that God has given me an opportunity to speak not only to this church and uh, not only to my local church, but God has now given me the opportunity, a fulfillment of a prophetic word that my father spoke with the Cooper 46 years ago. He said, you will take the gospel to the entire world. And tonight, Daddy, the word of the Lord out of your mouth has finally come to me. I want to say this. If I can get every senior pastor uh, if, if your husband and wife to stand, every senior pastor, every senior pastor, co-pastor, I need for you to stand. Glory to God. Uh, tonight, I want to say something uh, to the congregation. I want to say something about them. Tonight, I believe that there is an anointing uh, with this rusty, froggy voice of mine. Uh, God, tonight, told me to pinpoint these people. Because those of you, the congregation, tonight, you need to see them in a different light. You need to discern the gift that's speaking into your life. Because this woman at the well, Jesus said to her, If you knew the gift of God and what the gift was saying to you, you would be asking the gift for a drink of water. You may be seated. Tonight, those of you from Greater Love should not just see her as Pastor Sherp. Those of you from Love Center, in the absence of Bishop Walter Hawkins, Senior Pastor, and along with his co-pastor, Sandy Coleman, should not just see her as Sandy Coleman. Those of you from the Hope Center should not just see Pastor Nation as Pastor Nation. Those of you from Judah International, Mackinac, the Metroplex, glory to God, should not just see Archbishop and Prophetess Donna Du Bois as Archbishop. Those of you from Judah, glory to God, should not just hear me and receive me as Apostle Dr. Dr. Ross D. Garrison Jr. or Pastor Shannon, just as Pastor Shannon, but according to Ephesians chapter 4, I want to make an announcement. We are the gift. 